Hi everyone, in this video I am going to tell you how you can use Vagrant to create different kind of virtual machines. We will be using VirtualBox as our provider. Let's create a directory, go to that and let's use Vagrant in it. CentOS 7 is the box which we are going to use. Let's use Vagrant up. H you can see it is importing the base box because it is already available but if you are doing it first time on your machine then a download will happen machine is ready uh, it will take a while so let me show you what is there in the vagrant file while it is being ready yeah so vagrant file we are more concerned with one setting of enabling public network this one we will uncomment that so first let me hold check the status and let's hold this machine we will start it again so it can take our changes which we'll be doing in the vagrant file so on comment this line now it will take the public network let's do the vagrant up it will again take a while to start now you can see that two different network adapter has been added to this machine So let's go through a uh, vagrant file. We can change the memory. We can also change the IP address. It is still taking time. Go back to vagrant file. Meanwhile, as you can see, we can, we can also use the default cell provider through which we can run our SSH script even we can do installations of many softwares first time it will take some time okay meanwhile let me show you the vagrant cloud where different kind of boxes are available we are using CentOS you can also use Ubuntu you just need to change your init line while doing the initialization of Vagrant Vagrant up will always be same and you can also try to find out your favorite uh, boxes like for Java it is available you just need to change your init line actually and then you will get a Java box VirtualBox and VMware are two major uh, popular providers as we are using VirtualBox so you need to be sure that VirtualBox provider is available for that specific block box now our machine is ready let's do the status SSH check the IP yes we can see ip has been assigned from the 192.168 series uh, because my router is having that series in the it, its uh, dscp so 17107 is uh, the primary number for which we are concerned right now take a copy of that i'll copy this under vagrant file so in future whenever this machine will start it will get this ip address if it is this uh, on the same network or the same router let's do the exit create a new directory again use the vagrant in it for centos 7 it is ready but before doing the vagrant up let's open vagrant file the new vagrant file and change the ip address i want this ip address to be 108 okay let's say let's use vagrant up okay. 
oh there is error oh there is an extra space after ip so let's go to vagrant file uh, just remove this extra space from both file save them and now use vagrant app again this time it will happen faster than before because our provider is already in active mode so it is ready let's do the SSH check the IP yeah we go 208 let's create another machine create a folder go to that back into it by the way uh, while it is being uh, a startup let me tell you that we are using different folders for different machines okay there is an interrupt because i forgot to change the public network first let's do it let me make it 109 so let's fire vagrant up again so i was telling you that uh, we are using different folders for creating different machines but it is also possible that we can create multiple machine from the same folder or the same vagrant file we will be doing this uh, in another video maybe or you, you can just search internet how to do that that can be your homework from this video so now this machine is also ready let's do SSH Check IP, yeah, it is 109. Exit, so we have end up creating three different machines. That's all for this video. If you have any question, please do write in comment.